Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, is the holiest day of the entire Jewish calendar. Before you say it, let me say this. Jesus said, I didn't come to destroy the law, but to fulfill the law. I do not believe that we have to make the sacrifices that uh, they made uh, during, uh, during these times on earth. For Jesus came and became our ultimate sacrifice. But I do believe we should observe these days because we should take time to stop, pause, and remember what Jesus Christ did when he hung on the cross and died so that you and I could have everlasting life. You see, it's about the blood. Everything we have, victory over sin, eternal life in heaven is through the blood of Jesus Christ. And even the Word said, and let me refresh your memory in case you missed the program last night. Let me go back and tell you what he said in the book of, uh, in the book of Colossians. He simply gave us an instruction uh, to continue to remember these days. And he said that these days were uh, uh, in, uh, let's see, let me find the, the exact scripture here. I didn't know I was going to go there. But in Colossians chapter number 2, uh, he told us that we should remember these ordinances and not forget them. He said, when people talk about you, he said, you're blessed for remembering these ordinances, for continuing to observe and do them. You see, we understand that Jesus paid the price. He did it all. We're not putting him back on the cross. We're not trying to go back and do works. But we are celebrating. We are observing what he done. And we also need to remember this about Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement. It's the holiest day of the entire Jewish calendar. It's the only day on which the high priest went into the Holy of Holies where the Ark of the Covenant was. No other time could the high priest go into the Holy of Holies. He sprinkled blood or the blood of a sacrificial animal on the Ark in atonement for the sins of the people. Yom Kippur. The Day of Atonement is a day for celebrating freedom from sin. It's an opportunity to begin again. Freedom from condemnation. It's not a day to be discouraged or disappointed. I love uh, our dear friend Rabbi Zev Peret from Tel Aviv, Israel, who's going to be joining us via Skype uh, in a couple of weeks here on the program uh, my dad asked Rabbi, because you see, we had always fasted on these days because we thought that's what you're supposed to do. That's, that's a Gentile for you trying to get under Jewish things. And Rabbi said, no, why would you deny yourself of food when these days are to be celebration days? We are to celebrate what he has done for us. These are not days we're supposed to be running around in sackcloth and, and beating ourselves up and living in uh, 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 condemnation. But it's a time of celebration, a time of rejoicing because on Yom Kippur, everything starts over. God says it's time for a new beginning because of Yom Kippur, the day of atonement. During the 21 days of this very special season, the earth launches or lurches rather through turmoil and trouble. There's more earthquakes. Catch this. There's more hurricanes, volcanic eruptions at this time of year than any other. More murders are committed during this time of the year. More wars are started during this time of the year. The horrific 9-11 attack took place during the 21-day passage of uh, Yom Kippur. This all ties together. The dog days of summer, which we've just recently kind of come out of, which are supposed to be the hottest days of all. All of this, the earth, it all plays a part in what God has set up and what God has done. Why, you may ask. Well, let me read this to you in the Word of God. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse number 16, simply says this, For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a rousing cry, with a call from one of the ruling angels, and with God's shofar, those who died united with the Messiah, or Jesus, will be the first to rise. Those verses describe the rapture of the church when the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout and with the trump of God, the shofar. You see, the devil knows, and I believe that the rapture of the church will probably take place during this season. Not in, say, this year. 
I just said during the days of atonement. The Bible says we don't know the day, we don't know the hour of Christ's return, but we know the season, and that season, according to the Word of God, would be this particular time during the Day of Atonement, the uh, 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 Feast of Tabernacles, which is the blowing of the shofar. Are you with me? So we could be near His return right now. This is the tabernacle season, the season we're coming into, a season of promise. Write that down. Write that down in the notes of your Bible, that atonement is a season of promise. It's a time for new beginnings. Uh, the Bible promises that Jesus will either split the eastern sky uh, and come back for his church, or according to Joel chapter 2, verse number 23, if he doesn't come back, then he will release the former and the latter rain. Well, what does that mean? It means we're going to receive a double portion anointing. That's the promise of Yom Kippur. You're going to receive the double portion. If he doesn't come back, then he said, I'm going to release the former and the latter rain. The earth convulses itself during this 21-day season because the devil is very panicky. The devil is a nervous wreck during atonement. Do you understand all the unrest now? Do you understand why hurricanes come this time of the year? Do you understand why all this other takes place? You see, he hits God's people with everything that he can. Man, we, during the, remember this, that during the uh, Passover season of 2020 and Pentecost, we were deep into the middle of COVID-19, the corona pandemic. We were deep in the middle of it. I don't believe it's a coincidence that that all happened during the feast seasons and now these hurricanes are popping up one right after the other and all of these things taking place don't miss this program don't turn the channel because you need to hear what i'm saying you need your life to be changed around you need a new start and god wants to give you a new start beginning right now